I'm going to go check out Mom's Organic Market. It's probably about 20 minutes from where I live, which is a little further than the three minutes it takes me to get to my local grocery store. In my effort to reduce the amount of uh, single-use plastics that I use, I want to check out Mom's Organic Market. Uh, I think they're going to have a bigger selection um, of products and produce that don't use single-use plastics. Here's a big tub of organic tofu, which could cut down the amount of plastic I use from buying regular tofu. So, uh, I look at the produce section and I notice that they pretty much had uh, the fruits like blueberries and strawberries and all that still in clamshell containers, number one clamshell containers. And the selection was good, but not nearly as big as my Wegman selection. So uh, I saw a guy working in produce and I asked him about their recycling. I asked him, do they take back all the plastic products that their um, food uh, comes in? And he basically says, yeah. And I explained to him that I had a hard time finding places that took clamshells. And even on the website, uh, Mom's Organic Market said that they, um, they didn't clarify if they took uh, clamshell plastic back. So he took me over to uh, the recycling area and it had this big glossy list of all the things they take and don't take. So basically the main thing that they don't take um, is styrofoam and one more of the product that they said messes up their machine. But I can't remember what it was, but I'll find that. Um, so uh, I decided that I would just continue buying my produce from um, Wegmans and then just basically bring Whole Foods, I mean, I'm sorry, bring Mom's Organic Market back um, all of the plastics since they pretty much take everything back. So uh, now we'll go over some of the cool items I did see. They had a lot of things for um, the eliminating single-use plastic, like these um, reusable straws here, uh, lots of different caps uh, to um, replace the, any bottle caps that may have worn off on your water containers, um, a lot of gitchy stuff that's pretty cool. A lot of it I kind of already have, so <laughs> on from there. The selection of non-dairy milks was absolutely amazing. They had flaxseed milk, which I never really heard of before, um, but I thought I would give it a try. Um, here we see me picking out the wrong milk. I focused in on the unsweetened part, totally missed the fact that it was vanilla flavored, and I clearly wanted a non-sweet, non-vanilla flavored milk. So they had a really good selection of uh, different products, uh, milks, cheeses, and eggs. You know, typical things that you also see at Wegmans. Um, but I just wanted to focus on uh, mostly vegan or um, vegetarian options. So we'll kind of skip through everything else. Now I came upon this essential oil section, ooh, like one of my favorite sections um, because I'm into soap making and hair products and things like that. Essential oils are a must. They had a nice selection of essential oils. This is a brand I had heard of before and they have really good quality essential oils. Even though I've never purchased, I've heard of them. But I will probably revisit here for the essential oils. Now this is a section of uh, compostable paper products, um, which normally I would normally have to order from Amazon, but they're available. They also have compostable utensils and plateware and set, good for parties and things like that. Generally I try to use uh, real plates and uh, real utensils when having parties, but sometimes you need extra stuff for extra folks. I don't have any place to dump compostable stuff, but they do take compostable items here at Mom's Organic Market. Now this was cool. Uh, you can bring your own containers and refill them with uh, dish soaps, laundry detergent, and other household cleaning items. So I thought that was pretty cool. You just have your items, your, your containers pre-weighed at the register, and then you can come back and fill it up with different types of cleaning products. I thought that was really cool. I like that idea. I may come back to revisit this.
I like the idea of these containers here that are a paper product and highly recyclable. That's pretty cool. So I'm noticing a lot of these products are compostable types of plastics where you would need some place that you can drop off you know, compostable items. Obviously Bob's Art Organic Market does that. Um, I don't know if anyone has a compostable bin in their backyard that's big enough for um, plastic type products and products like this. So if I were to purchase these, I'd definitely have to bring it back here. I'm just not ready to start a compost bucket or whatever you call it in the back of my yard. It attracts bugs and I have this thing about bugs. Uh, we, we don't get along very well. So I made my own beeswax wrap so you could avoid using plastic wrap. And I had seen them on Amazon before we could pre-purchase them. And here they are right here in Mom's Organic Market. So I'm going to pick up a pack and check them out, see how I like it. They were obviously cheaper on Amazon. Sorry, Mom's Organic Market. But I'm going to get them here just to test it out. They have a lot of interesting kitchenware. Bamboo chopsticks, cheese cloths, various things for the kitchen, all made from mostly compostable products like these gloves here. I'm not sure how rubber gloves are compostable. I don't know that much about compost heaps and such, but they are available for those who are interested in it. One thing I did like about this store a lot is the aisles. They're very wide and very spacious. There's just lots of room to get around. You don't feel like you're so jammed in and packed, maybe because it wasn't that crowded. And I know Wegmans can get a little overcrowded. The aisles are kind of small and can get pretty busy in there. Now here's a brand I really love, Field Roast. They have a really good selection of meat substitutes that are really delicious. So I wanted to find some vegan cheese because uh, I wanted to try out a vegan lasagna recipe. I did find vegan mozzarella cheese, as you'll see here, but I did not find any vegan ricotta. I know there's a recipe to make vegan ricotta out of cashews, so I'm gonna go ahead and just pick up the mozza, almond mozzarella cheese here, and that way, that's one less process I have to worry about. Plus, I haven't perfected my hard cheese making skills, so we're just gonna go ahead and get this. So they had a pretty good selection of Gardein products. Um, the fish sticks, uh, which I've never seen before, but I did see a recipe for a vegan sushi. I'm not gonna make sushi because that's just too hard. I hate rolling sushi, but I will check those out. I love seafood. Uh, they also had these crab cakes. I'm gonna check those out as well. And other stuff I already have, like the meatballs and ground beef. holidays are coming up and I'm gonna need some options so I did see these kind of cool holiday dinners vegan style and I'm debating between this brand and my tried and trusted Gardein um, I end up going with the Gardein because it's a smaller portion and I'm pretty much gonna be the only one eating it so there we go okay so what was my overall impression of mom's organic market um, it was much smaller than most grocery stores, um, which is actually a good thing because if you don't need a lot, you know exactly what you want, then it's easy to get in there and get what you need. It's not a huge place to cover. I can see it getting pretty crowded on the weekends, but it'd be a pretty great place to stop, like after work, um, when I get off early and there's not a lot of people. So price-wise damage, $92.39. Now this wasn't what I, anywhere near what I call a full grocery shopping day for 92 bucks. But true disclaimer, I would say I probably bought maybe $25 worth of stuff that I didn't really need. So knock that back down to closer around 70s, high 60s. Will I come back here? Probably not. 
because after speaking with the helpful guy in one of the service departments, he showed me all the things that can be recycled here and I took a picture of their very extensive list. So pretty much everything that I'm buying right now, I can bring here to recycle. So I will save coming here just for recycling and probably still go to Wegmans and Whole Foods. Nobody really said they took clamshells, but apparently they take clamshells no matter the number. One, two, three, four, five, it doesn't matter. They, it doesn't matter. They will recycle clamshells. Um, the only thing they don't recycle is styrofoam. There was one more thing I forgot. I will refer to the list. I'll also post the list. Um, so, like I said, overall I give it a good mark. If I lived in this neighborhood, I'd probably shop here pretty frequently. Um, if you have a big family, probably not a place you're going to shop because it was a little pricey. So tell me what you think of Mom's Organic Market. Do you shop there? Do you like it? Is it your go-to store? Is it too expensive for you? Is it too small for you? Is it too crowded for you? Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, if you like this, give it a like and please subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Talk to you later. This is the sheer madness that you'll come, come home to.